Assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will complete our forgot email password implementation we will open this form on the click of the link which we sent on email and in this form we will use all of the validation of password and after successful validation we will reset the user password and it will display a message that the password has reset please log in with the new password so now let's start for this we will need a new route for reset password copy this activate line code and paste it here and then we will change our route name from activate to reset password we will use forgot password controller and the method name will be reset let's create this function in forgot password controller copy these line from password method as we are using the same logic here first we will get the user by email and if the user is null we will print this error then we will get user object using sentinel and the reminder code which we sent earlier so if we have the reminder code then do this else we will print that time has expired and then we will also check that the code is matched with the code that we have in our database so if the code is equal to the reminder code then we will return a view this view will contain a form for password reset fields
Now let's go to the database where we have this activation code. And for checking this URL, we will we will create a link like this. Reset password and the email address and get the activation code from the table reminders. Now we have created the link. Let's paste it in browser. So here is the form. So our form is working. Let's create this route for post method. So we will name this method reset password and now we will create this reset password method in forgot password. We will get email and code and post data in this method. First, we will validate our form. For validate, we will use this validate and the request and we will create some rules for our fields. For password, we will create that it is required and minimum characters must be 7 and maximum characters it can take 12 characters and for matching we will say confirm so the another field is password confirm and this field will have the same rules like required minimum and maximum let's change this field name to password confirmation and also change this in our form password confirmation And after the post form, we will use CSRF field. Let's copy most of the code from our previous method reset. First we will check that the email exists or not, then we will get the sentinel user object. Then we will check that if the reminder code exists or not. If the reminder code exists then we will check that the code is exactly the same which is in our database
if the code is matched then we will complete our reminder we will pass the user object and the reminder code with the new password then after this password reset process we will redirect it to the login page with success message that the password has been reset please login with your new password Now our code is completed, first we will validate the user, then we will get the email and if the user object is null then we will say email not exist, then we will get the sentinel user information and the reminder we didn't code the reminder so copy this reminder line from reset password method. So now we will get the reminder so again first we will validate the fields then we will get the email if the user exists or not then we will get the sentinel object of then we will get the sentinel user then the reminder if the reminder exists then we will match the reminder code with the provided code if the code match then we will reset our user password after resetting the password we will redirect to the login page with a success message and in other else cases we will redirect to the home URL. This code is completed. Now let's go to our reset password form. And here we will include these errors if we have errors then we will display all of the errors in list item Thank you very much for watching. 
if you want to check out more lessons like this one then subscribe to this channel and hit the like button see you in the next lecture take care bye bye